Today, I'm going to show you how to create Potion of Invisibility with powerful cloaking properties. things we'll need to create our potion of invisibility is one glass bottle and this is an oil or vinegar pouring bottle that I found I believe at home goods we are going to use some rubbing alcohol but you could also use distilled water and just a tiny bit of glycerin we're going to use a funnel and beaker for filling we will be using some Tim Holtz alcohol ink in the color pistachio we're gonna need a rubber cork and some silver mica powder as well as some head pins, some small jump rings, and an assortment of iridescent glass beads. We'll be using some pliers, as well as a teal sealing wax hot glue stick and a hot glue gun. And finally, we will need our label printed on water slide decal paper, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win a monthly potion bottle? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Link is in the description down below. Patreon not your speed, we also have membership here on YouTube. You get special emojis and badges just for being a member that you can use in the comment section. Link down below. The first thing we're going to do with our Potion of Invisibility is apply our water slide transfer to our bottle. And I showed you guys this awesome product in my Conjure Cocoa, and I absolutely love it. And I immediately thought of this potion when I first started using this product again. I just think it'll be a really cool effect, especially for a Potion of Invisibility. So we're going to first put this on. And again, all we do is put it in our water for... Uh, 15, 20, 30 seconds, just depending on the, how big the transfer is and all that. But uh, we just are going to place it in our water and let it release itself from the backing paper, and then we will put it on. Okay, so we're just going to slip it up. And we're going to place it on our bottle, and then just pull the backing paper off. And now we can adjust its placement. And then we can use a paper towel to start to remove some of the excess water from behind our label. And again, I like using a paper towel because it does one of two things. One, it actually absorbs that excess water. And two, I just feel like it's a little safer and you're not gonna accidentally damage your actual decal while doing that. Sometimes when you use an actual squeegee or burnisher, you can damage your label, and that's the last thing I wanna do. So at this point, I'm just gonna make sure that it's straight. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna make sure that all of the extra bubbles and everything else are pulled out. And this has like a little ripple right here. So I'm just making sure that my label got into that ripple really nicely. Make sure there's no trapped air bubbles. And all right, there we go. I think we have our Potion of Invisibility label on here. And as you can see, everything that was printed white obviously has no ink, so it's clear. So what we end up with is a see-through label that it has parts that are invisible, which I think is really cool because we'll actually see our potion through there. So I was very mindful about how I designed this so that we would get that amazing see-through property, especially on this potion. So now that we have our label on, I think the next thing we're gonna do is work on our chain and beading. That's just gonna be a nice decorative adornment on the side of our bottle here. So I just grabbed, um, this was actually a silver necklace, and I picked this up at Michael's. And basically, we're just going to take a jump ring and decide where we want our ends to be. And I'm just going to jump ring here around the center. And then we'll snip this end where we want it, and then we'll start to make our beads for it. I think I want this up just a little higher. Yeah, somewhere in there.
Okay, so I have my jump ring here that I wove through both of these, and then I have my chains. So I'm just going to cut this chain. And now I have my two ends. So now I can take my head pins and we can start to bead on our glass beads. Okay, so I have my little head pin here. And these have the little ball here on the end, which is going to stop the bead from going all the way through. And basically, I just took one of each of my little iridescent glass beads here. I have a teardrop and then a slightly larger than the next one circle. And then I have this little smaller oval one. So then we have a little like cute teardrop here. And then all we're gonna do is take our head pin and literally feed it through the last hook on here. And then I'm gonna take my wire cutters and cut this shorter because we don't need a ton. And then I'm gonna take my pliers, which these are the kind that have the little rounded edges. And we're just going to roll this into a little loop. And then we're going to pinch it closed. And I'm just gonna make sure everything is good and tight with my little needle nose here. And then we have our little glass teardrop. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. And there we have our two little teardrops. So now that we have our label on and our bead detail, we're gonna go ahead and get our potion part created. So I'm using alcohol ink today to color it. And like I said, this is Tim Holtz pistachio colored alcohol ink. And it's always a good idea to really give them a good shake before you use them. And I'm actually going to place the coloring in before we add the alcohol. And we can always add more if we need to. I added about 15 drops. Okay, and I think that level is good. Let me go ahead and take our funnel out for just a sec here. And I'm going to take my little mica powder spoon slash mixer and I'm gonna mix this up so then that way I can see if we wanna add a few more drops. I just want this to be a really nice light tealy green color that will then transition into silver. So let's see. I actually think that's a pretty good color for our base. It's enough that you can still read the label and see through it, but it gives us that greeny tint so we know it's not just clear. So because I have my color mastered, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this in here for us to add our mica powder to, and then we'll pour it back into our potion. So now I'm gonna add some of this silver mica powder. Now this is the Nodway brand, which I talked about in my last video that talked about tips and tricks of creating really great potions. And I really like this brand of mica powder. It's inexpensive and they do a really nice job. So this was actually a pack of, I believe five. And it comes with other colors like gold, 
antique gold, this bronze copper, which I am in love with, and then this red gold, which is really pretty. So I was excited about this collection of mica powders for me to add to our grouping we have now. So we have some really good metallics here. But today we are using the silver, which is a really nice color. All right, so we're going to add our silver to the section of liquid we pulled out. So now we can pour this into our base liquid here. And then I can cork this up. Let's give this a good shake. So what I love about this clear label is that we can see our swirly potion through the label, which I think is just really cool. So now that all of that is done, we're going to take my Gorilla Glue Gun on low heat with my teal sealing wax glue stick here. And I'm just going to add enough that it does slight drips. I don't want it to be crazy, just enough that it kind of drips over the cork, especially since this one has that like basin. I think that's good. It just adds a tiny bit of a detail up there and a little bit more of that tealy green color. And I think that's just a lot of fun. And with that, I think our invisibility potion is done. And we have that beautiful detail of our silvery potion showing up through our label. And there you have it, our Potion of Invisibility with powerful cloaking properties. This will be a great addition to our Potion and Prop collection we've been making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.